So for today's workout, I decided to do a leg workout uh, using only the cable machines. Um, I don't do this often, but I do like to throw in variations. I've been doing a lot of kettlebell, uh, landmine, dumbbell, and barbell work. And so I decided to do a cable-only leg day today. Uh, starting off with cable front squats, but I'm staying on my toes. Staying on my toes to exaggerate uh, the quad contraction. Also, because of the way the cable is held, there's actually an isometric contraction going on with the bicep. So the bicep gets to be involved in the part uh, in a compound movement. And usually when uh, muscles are involved in a compound movement, there's a, si a size translation uh, there too. Uh, after the cable front squats, I did about three to five, no, actually five sets of that. Uh, I went into staggered uh, front squats uh, on the cable machine. Um, so the I'm holding it in the left hand and the right leg is forward. I guess you could play around with that variation, uh, but personally this felt the most natural. Um, Again, staying on my toes to maximize uh, the quad contraction and also the staggered stance and the unilateral nature of the movement uh, forces you to uh, like work a lot on the st uh, stability aspect of things and also gives quite a unique quad contraction. Um, doing five reps uh, each hand, I believe, or was it seven? somewhere between five to eight and uh, similar to the uh, first exercise did uh, five sets of this. Today I wasn't really supersetting a whole lot. Um, I started off with a lot of backward walking uh, and then just did this for uh, five sets of each exercise. Uh, but if you guys want to play around uh, with the rep range and the sets depending on uh, how exhausted you are or what you're going for uh, that's completely fine <clears throat> these are just some cable exercises that you can throw in uh, in order to spice your workout or just an entire workout moving into some cable <coughs> loaded ATG split squats so usually I do this uh, ATG split squats body weight uh, but by applying a load uh, through the cable if you notice the angle at which it's coming so in an ATG split squat you're pushing backwards with the fr uh, with the leg that's front uh, so you're essentially doing a leg extension with the front leg to get uh, to squat back up and now this way you're able to apply load through the cable also, the way the cable pulls you adds load into the hamstring stretch, or not the hamstring, the hip flexor stretch of the back leg. Um, so you're able to maximize uh, the hip flexor stretch and, and also load uh, the contraction of the quad on the ATG split squat. Now, uh, so if you notice, the first three exercises were mostly uh, quad dominant. Uh, now moving into something that's more posterior chain, posterior chain dominant. Again, st uh, starting with like a front uh, stance. So um, I'm doing a lunge using a plate to keep myself elevated to get a deeper stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. Um, and also because of the way the cable is positioned and the tension that it provides, it really gives quite a unique contraction and uh, you'll really feel a good uh, stretch and contraction in the hamstrings and glutes. Um, I believe I was going for 10 each side. Again, depending on how much load you're using, you can change it. But what I noticed is uh, when you go too heavy on the cables, it starts pulling you a certain way, especially if you're not used to it. Um, so at least if it's your first time you'll probably have to go a little lighter um, now uh, sticking with the posterior chain uh, doing uh, essentially it's 
so how barbells stiff leg deadlifts work uh, you're kind of trying to replicate the same motion on a cable machine um, so you're sitting on the floor but it's not uh, uh, it's not a deadlift but uh, the stretch so usually people stretch where they touch their toes you're trying to replicate that same movement uh, but using the cable machine um, you'll feel a really good stretch in your hamstrings and calves even like a stretch but not a like you'll you'll have to do it to recognize what I'm saying and also you'll feel a stretch through your glutes into your lower back um, the goal here is to slowly lower yourself till you feel a stretch and then to come back up uh, don't overdo the stretch uh, like as soon as it gets semi uncomfortable uh, get back up and as time goes on you'll be able to go deeper into the stretch and into the movement um, I do cable good mornings a lot which is what's coming up next uh, but this is a variation that exclusively focuses on the uh, hamstrings and glutes and lower back as opposed to a cable good morning well uh, I'll explain a cable good morning when it's uh, when it's on the screen <clears throat> So, um, with cable good mornings, I keep my feet spread apart. So, the difference between the previous movement and this movement is that um, I keep my feet spread apart. Um, and so, when I sink in low into the movement, I also feel a deep stretch in the uh, groin area uh, and not just the hamstrings. Um, the stretch that you feel uh, so in the previous exercise the stretch that you feel in the hamstring will be super intense here that intensity is almost distributed between the groin and the uh, hamstrings however if you're someone who's never really focused on groin mobility before uh, you will um, like it'll be pretty intense in the groin area and you really want to take time to lower yourself in and not go too heavy on the movement um, uh, with cable good mornings I'm trying to stay as uh, like keep my back as straight as possible but then towards the ending I allow for a little bit of rounding so that it can pull me forward um, the goal is to keep moving like let the cable pull you and to maintain a straight back as, to as far as possible and then at the end I let it round a little bit just to like pull me out um, I've noticed that since doing this movement uh, I've been getting crazy mobility gains and also feel a lot more confident in the way I move and handle weights uh, in the gym um, with the with the the previous exercise I was going for uh, eight to ten reps each uh, set and I did five sets of that um, with the cable good mornings I go for again like five to eight reps um, uh, with cable good mornings I notice uh, that keeping the rep range low but taking time to uh, feel the stretch and sink into the stretch has given me uh, the most mobility gains <clears throat> so we started off with quads then moved into some posterior chain uh, then moved into a little bit of groin and now trying to hit the outer part of the leg so groin is like the inner part outer part is like the piriformis and stuff so doing a cable pigeon stretch or piriformis stretch um, hit it so the leg that's bent is the leg in so the leg that's bent is where you'll feel it on the outer leg where the so the piriformis is like this muscle that runs around along the side of your leg and so I'm um, uh, same cues as 
the cable good mornings and the I guess cable stuff like deadlift on the floor let's call it for now um, it uh, you want to slowly sink in feel the muscles stretching you'll also feel a stretch in the hamstring uh, and glute of the leg that's outstretched so but the main stretch that you're going to feel is in the leg that's bent on the outer side um, going for I think five each side it was uh, for, uh, for this uh, again like slowly uh, or relatively slowly sink into it at least in your first couple of reps uh, don't really try to rush it and uh, yeah uh, that was it for the cable exercises and uh, if you guys have been watching my uh, videos uh, you probably know that uh, I've recently picked up a hobby of kettlebell juggling so here's me trying to practice a flip so um, if you've watched the previous videos there's a simple forward and backward flip that uh, is that I've been doing in kettlebell juggling but now uh, I think this is called a helicopter or a lateral flip not really sure what the name is but so um, uh, yeah this is just a clip of me drilling uh, that lateral flip um, doing a kettle uh, doing a kettlebell swing with a 16 pound kettlebell and uh, like just drilling the movement and trying to get it uh, good uh, this but by keeping on practicing this it actually raises my heart rate quite high while I do it uh, because it is a whole body movement and a lot of things are working at the same time and so uh, my watch was reading around 150 BPM when I was doing it um, but anyway uh, yeah that was it for today's workout uh, I went and sat in the sauna after that and uh, did some uh, hip flexor stuff and some mini kettlebell stuff over there but yeah uh, if you like the video like the video and subscribe to the channel new videos every morning at 8 a.m.